and welcome back to Movie Reviews 101 and today we're going to be talking about In the Heights without the singing and dancing on my side directed by John M. Chu and starring Anthony Romeros, Corey Hawkins, Leslie Grace and Melissa Brea and In the Heights follows the lives of four young adults sort of around 20 to 30 year olds who are living in a place called Washington Heights and they all have dreams of something more and we get to see how they show what they want in their lives through song and dance even though there, there is an enjoyment of being part of this community it is tinged with an, a contentment of this can't be everything we have but we are still happy with what we do have and yeah that's the basics of this story and um, I would like to go straight into the free ups because there's plenty of ups but I had to trim it down to free first thing is we're gonna keep it simple we're gonna say the songs and dances are, are catchy there's a gravity divining dance which is brilliant to watch um, each song moves the story forward where a conversation in a normal drama type thing would have been pretty bland but the song makes it feel like they need this and it means something to them so for me that is beautiful to watch next up is the four main characters like each character is built with a purposely built dream and while Uznavi is like our main character he owns like a shop and he wants to go back to the Dominican Republic to live on the beach like where his family is really from but he seems to be trapped in this New York suburb or community and his dream is just to get back there it's all he thinks about all he ever wants and that's good then you have like Vanessa who wants to move away from this area but move downtown be somewhere like where a fashion can really take off and then you have um, then Nina who wants to be has actually been built up to study everything in life being taught hard work means you can achieve more get out of this area and it, everything she wants is there but she isn't sure if she wants to take that final step now and they've all built this really well and I think it's just it could it translate to anyone anyone wants more from life and this is just showing how people can want more and if we even step further back for the third part of this and that is the support characters we get most of the people from the salon and they just laugh and joke still a lot of seeds you have the elderly member of the neighborhood who everyone worships and has treated everyone like their own like daughters sons and everything it's all built brilliantly this movie on story and characters and that, that's why it's just one of the best so the three downs well one down it's got to be I do feel this movie is a bit longer than it needs to be it doesn't need to be nearly two and a half hours long um, but I'm not going to waste any time moaning about this because otherwise I, as I always say my downs tend to be more nitpicks than anything else now recently I really just seem to be enjoying a lot or finding a lot very average and I just don't like complaining about average so that's the bit only thing I didn't really like so for me this is one of the best like musicals you see it's it brings everyone together from every different background who can translate to everything we have in life we we all dream of something more in life uh, we want more than we like have in our everyday jobs we don't want to be doing them we want to be achieving things we enjoy and this is showing you how so many people can do it and find a way to stay happy with their lives like most of us do so for me this is a 5 out of 5 movie and I would be recommending it to everyone um, let me know if you like In the Heights and why I suddenly have a new fascination with modern musicals because every single one that comes out I seem to enjoy yeah it's strange I, I don't even like some of the older musicals I just love new ones and, let me know what sort of modern musicals I should be checking out as I feel like I've seen a lot but I'm sure there's a few I've missed 
in the comments below. And until next time, enjoy your movies, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.